Hello boys and girls, welcome back to part three. I think this will probably be the final part, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so first of all, this is how the truck's looking. And I'm quite pleased with it. A few little bits here and there I want to just touch up, but that's the bulk of it. These are just their primer. I've just sort of stacked them up to see what they look like. Yeah, it kind of looks all right. Uh, so with them um, yeah and all this has had one coat of enamel and it's taken ages to dry but the weather's been really damp um, it's probably about three days or so so I'm going to give that a second coat now hopefully that will come out reasonable otherwise I'm kind of stuffed um, what else is there to do? Oh, I've given the, this is going to be a nameplate that goes over the cab. So I've given that some etch primer. So I'm going to paint that and then make up a name for a company. Put that on there. Um, okay, so I'm going to get painting the red first of all. So I'll be back in a minute. Hopefully with that looking a bit nicer. So this is all had a second coat of the red. It's not brilliant, but I'm not going to spend weeks stripping it down again. So that'll have to do. I'll, I'll give it another coat, possibly two, but it's not as good as spraying. Never mind. Um, right. I thought I'd just quickly put this number plate on. So what I've done is cut a couple of little bits of PE, glued them on the back of there, and it's going to go up on the top of this box here, sort of like that somehow, sort of about there. Uh, so a little bit of the slow acting super glue, if I can get the lid off. It's quite good this slow acting stuff, it gives you maybe i don't know 30 seconds perhaps to get things where you want them so see a little tab there, there that should do it i've already cleaned a little bit of the paint off where it's going to go so. oh. <laughs> oh okay that would have been an easier way of doing it wouldn't it Okay, the whole box is falling off. Just thinking about it. While I've got that off, it'd be easier to paint that before I stick it back on, wouldn't it? So I should do that quickly. Um, dark grey, this one here. Reverted. Okay, I think it looks all right. A bit bad. Might dirty it a little bit later. So this is going to be that nameplate thing. So I'll give that a little little splotch of black. Uh, gloss black I had a minute ago. I've already had this primed it. <coughs> that for a bit and then uh, give it another coat so <clears throat> following on from some comments which when I had a, had a look at it made sense the the weathering just doesn't add up does it so uh, the back of it I've done in a sort of wood effect which is just lots and lots of different browns all swished about so that bit there is going to have the the bags of coal on top so it doesn't matter um which i think looks okay uh then what i'm going to do is I've, sarah's given me some of her 
stuff that she uses for dolls' houses. And it's basically coal dust. So I can sprinkle all over that around in there and brush it with a dry brush and get it in. Make that look tatty. Um, and then I'll do a little bit on the outside as well. And yeah, the wheels just don't look right. So I think I should put a bit of mud on those to darken down what was the concrete. Just make it look a bit better. Um, yeah, that one as well. Uh, as for the inside, the the dashboard, so where I stripped all the paint off, it left it looking like that, which I think looks like a tatty old dashboard anyway. So I'm just going to do a couple of little highlights on it, but basically leave it looking tatty like that because the back of the cab as well looks like that. It's a bit tacky, just done the red again. But it looks like the inside of a battered old van, doesn't it? So I'm going to leave it. I've put a little bit of brown on the floor, but I'm going to just sort of get some coal dust and go over it with that as well. Again, just to make it look tatty. Um, one bit I'm quite pleased about so far is the roof. Put a couple of bits of PE on there, just glued them all with super glue, and I've got a sign which is drying off over there uh which i've painted now so yeah onwards okay so last night i've just quickly made the sign up to go on the cab roof so there we go just a name that was about the right number of letters to fit so well, that'll do i think it looks all right so I'm just going to put a dab of decal fix over the top just because I noticed in the light they're slightly, slightly bubbly. And that should settle it down and then a bit of varnish over the top of that once that's dry. And then that will end up sitting on top of those brackets, so sort of about there. Bit of micro sole. Okay, so I thought I'd have a go at something Sarah suggested last night um, for getting the coal dust look in the back. So bearing in mind this area is going to have all the sacks of coal on it. So it's just to get the rest of it looking like it's a coal lorry. Um, I'm quite happy with the, the wood effect around the outside there. I think that's okay. And that was just a mixture of different browns a little bit of flesh went in there, uh, burnt umber, my old favourite, but I think that's okay. So the thing she suggested was <clears throat> using her pastels um, is get a knife and let's move that away for a sec. Get a knife and scrape some into a palette. So just use a craft knife. Just to make dust out of it. Oh, Ooh, it comes off a lot easier than I thought. That's, I'm barely touching it and it's crumbling. And then get a monkey brush and just dab it where you want it. And then you can seal it with a bit of PVA, but that might melt it. So it'll just end up looking like paint rather than dust. So I'm going to try a bit on a place where it doesn't show. Well, I can confirm it works on fingers, isn't it? Um, there's my monkey brush. There's my monkey brush. It's, a, well, it's not too bad, actually. It's, I don't know where that one came from. It's, it's actually quite soft, but... Uh, oh, hang on. Normally, all I can find is monkey brushes. Now I want one. Oh, that'll have to do. Anyway, so I'm going to try a bit down this end where it won't show. So just a bit on the brush and just dab it on. Okay. That looks okay. Okay, 
Okay, so I think that looks all right. But it just moves around, so it needs something to stick it. So, uh, could try a bit of PVA. Um, what can I use? Um, varnish. Bit of varnish and then get it to just stick to that. It needs to be just sort of tacky. Um, Hmm, let me think. Okay, so I thought I might try that canopy glue, which I think is basically PVA, I'm not sure. Um, and I'll, I'll do an experiment, I'll try it on a few places. I'll try a bit of matte varnish maybe. A bit of this stuff. I love watching other people's videos and reading about how to do things online. And you've given me some brilliant tips and stuff over the over the months. But sometimes you just play, yeah, and have a, have a go, see what works. So, you know, what works for somebody might not work for someone else. Try a little drop of hairbrush flow improver. Seems to work for most things. Okay, so the, the first two are sort of slightly tacky, so I'll give it a minute and then I'll put the coal dust on. Right, okay, well. I didn't give it very long uh, with the blah, 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 flow improver and that seems to have stuck. With the other two, I, all I did was sort of get the brush and flick it on with the powder and they've hardly stuck. Um, so I think they just dried too quick. There's only like two minutes maybe between putting those first two on and putting the powder on, but barely stuck. All I did was I sort of shook it and then blew blew the dust away but this one seems all right so I think flow improver is probably the one I'll I'll go with I'm gonna go mad with that now let's see what a mess I can make okay so I've gone just around the edges sort of a little bit up the side and along the floor and then just tapped the brush with the dust on it and I think that looks all right just sort of clung where I wanted it to. A little bit of hit and miss, a bit of a patch in the corner there, which I think looks all right. So I'm hoping that just sort of stays put now, which I think it should. Um, yeah, less is more, isn't it? That's what people say. So what I want to do is just get some in the grooves now to uh, just make it look more dirty and that's where it will collect it in the grooves, so the grooves will be really dark. Yeah, I'll just use an enamel wash on that, I think. Hopefully it's not too wet, and if it touches the dust, it might ruin it. Don't know, let's have a go. So, so panel liner, black. It's already had some of that on the outside, but you can barely notice the difference. So I think it needs a few coats to <clears throat> really show up. Um, sorry about the lighting. I've got a head torch on, so I'm trying to shine it in the right place. Because the lighting in here, I've, it's, it's not bad, but it's never this angle. It's always from the sides. I can't figure out how to rig up some decent lights in here. I kind of need them over my shoulder. So I find a head torch. Kind of, at least I can see the bit I'm, I'm working on, but obviously it doesn't show up so well on the camera sometimes. Right, let's have a go with this. So if I start it off at the end that we won't see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause it's not glossy, it's not really running. But 
don't know if I'd do it. Carefully, in a few places it might be all right. Yeah? Because normally you do this over a gloss varnish and then it runs better. Because this is matte paint, it's not, it's not running as far. But it's doing the job. There we go, so that's had a, a panel wash in all the, the lines between the, the planks. And I reckon that looks alright. Don't look too shabby, does it? I'm trying to shine the torch in there at the same time. Okay, that'll do for that. So now I need to get a bit... I need to do something with the wheels first. Right, so what I've done is got a bit of model air black, because that's a bit thinner than the model colour. <clears throat> Mixed it with a bit of airbrush thinness, so it's quite watery. Probably like a eight to one or something. Um, I'm just gonna sort of dab it on where that concrete colour is and try and just tone it down. Might work, might not, don't know. Yeah, it's funny how you sort of change your mind halfway through a build about how you want it to turn out. One of the comments got me thinking from John. Thanks again, John, for chipping in. Always good to hear from you. Um, he mentioned that he uh, was familiar with this sort of vehicle. Old coal lorry type thing. And it would have been a lot dirtier than, than I was intending to do. And um, I'm inclined to agree that that's a better way to go. Make it look used. So I shall finish doing this and then I'll go and put the kettle on and come back and sort of fresh eyes and see what I think. Yeah, lovely. Just toned it right down. Cool. I'm happy with that. Right, I'll leave it on its side in case it, any of it wants to run. Get a cup of tea. And then see what it looks like. Right, so I'm just going to start putting the cab together. And first job I want to do is put the windows in. Um... So I've just got one of them out and I wanted to check because I've painted this by hand. I thought the paint might be a bit thick so the glass might not fit in. But I've just had a little look and it fits okay. So a little tip I saw, which I haven't tried before, because oh, if you look, you can sort of see around the edge of the glass kind of just doesn't quite look right and the tip was to put a bit of paint around the outside so that as you look through it you see that rather than sort of just the reflection not explaining it very well um so i'm going to do a thin bit of dark gray around that just to sort of mimic i mean probably i don't know about the windscreen but other glass probably would have had like a rubber seal around it. Um, if not, it, it just kind of takes your eye off it a little bit. And I'm gonna paint the windscreen wiper as well, which you can just make out on there. I'm just gonna do a very thin layer of, uh, probably just do black on it actually, rather than try and do metal. Uh, and I thought about dirtying it up, so what I'll do is I'll I'll make a a stencil or template kind of thing out of a bit of masking tape 
and just dirty round it. And see how that looks. So I've been round all the glass and put a, a grey edge around it all. And I cut out some bits. I measured the length of the, the wiper blade, which worked out I needed a, a circle, which was roughly the size of the middle of one of these Tamiya tape things. So just put a bit of tape down, cut around it, stuck that on, and that seems to be about the right size. And then what I did was I got a cotton bud, some watered down light grey, dabbed it on the glass and then sort of wiped it off, or dabbed it off again. So hopefully this is going to look all right. Didn't want to go mad with it, but we shall see if it worked. Okay. Does it show? Yeah, you can see that, can't you? So just the sort of sweep of the, the wiper blade masked off and then the rest just a bit dirty. Okay, I'm quite pleased with that. Just a little subtle bit of detail. Um oh, here comes the dog. There's Poppy, she's all puffed out. I doubt been up to no good. Oh no, she's been licking the frying pan so she's all pleased with it. Here we go, that's the other half of the screen. Oh, I quite like that. Looks right. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now is stick the glass in the windscreen. Um, <clears throat> and I'll probably stick the ones in the doors as well. And I want to dirty this bit up a little bit and then I'm going to do some um, writing on the doors. One thing I've forgotten to do was the wiper blades. So what I've just done, uh, hopefully you can just see it on there. Maybe. Yeah, it's very subtle. Um, I tried masking them up. I found it was bleeding a little bit. So I've got these little dabber brushes. <clears throat> I don't know what you call them, but it's just like a little, this one's coming apart now. Um, it's just like a tiny little cotton bud on the end of the stick. I've just got a tiny bit of paint on the end of that. Dabbed it out on the kitchen towel and then just go along and just gently dab it along it so it doesn't go down the sides. And that seemed to work. Um, maybe this one shows up better. It shows up better on white or black. Don't know. But little detail. Okay, now to stick them in. Now I'm hoping A, they're going to fit, and B, that a bit of extra thing's going to do the job, and they're not going to fall out. Quite like the look of that, the way the grey, yeah, you can see it better there. Got the grey around the edge of the screen so you don't get that. I don't know what you call it when you just see the edge of the, the plastic. Oh, that looks alright. Right, a bit of extra thin in there, I think. <clears throat> Tiniest little dab. Hopefully, it won't go. That's all right. Okay, let's leave that carefully to go off. And then put the windows and the doors. Um, <clears throat> and there's this one that go in the, the back as well. Uh, yeah, door ones go on the inside. Okay. Making sure my hands are clean. Don't want to 
get any, any muck on there. let all them go off then uh, I think I can actually put the plumbing cap together it's done made that all yucky that's in that's made uh, so slap it all together uh, I've got decals to do on the there but because there's two decals for the speedo and the gauges and whatever but can you make it out there there's um sort of it's not flat so rather than put the decal in there i'm just going to put a little bit of white paint in there to go around the edge which I've, i did that on a on the kit before and it kind of looked all right so i'm just going to do that now just a little drop of white with a bit of thinners and just dab it in and hopefully it just sort of capillaries around the edge and looks more more like a gauge than the decal as well because because it's not a flat surface for the decal to stick on yeah that's right dirty old dashboard Yeah, that'd be. I'm happy with that. Uh, right, I'm going to let that dry and go and have me dinner. Well, we're getting there. So, last few bits. So, I put the sign on the roof. Thought it'd be easier to do it now rather than later. <clears throat> and got the, the decals on the side. I don't think it's too bad. Quite, quite okay with that. So the bit now is to put the cab together. Um, all I've just done is the instrument panels. I've just put a dab of clear gloss on there. Which might just catch in the light just to make them look a bit more like glass. Uh, that should dry in a minute. And then it's just put this together. So steering column fits on there there's a little lug on there yeah so that goes on first I shall use a bit of sticky glue for that I'm gonna put the super duper magnifying binoculars things on I love these things you better do this without them I can't see uh, Yes, yeah, so that has to go on the bottom of the panel there. It's a little cut out just there for it to sit in. But the bottom of the column has to line up with this slot here. So it has to be kind of done in one hit really to make sure it's straight. has to all be assembled at the same kind of time so that lines up in that slot. I'll give that a second to get a bit stickier. Yeah, so I've got to line all four of these bits up in one hit really. Hoping that 
it will fit without stripping too much of the paint off. Okay, so just make out this little bit sticking out there and the floor fits just in between the two. So it's quite a snug, secure little fit. Right, so just on the end there, you can just see there's a little tiny cut out, and that fits onto a little bit sticking out just there. And then, oops, and then it just sort of falls into place, really. There's a couple of pegs on the bottom there, or sort of slot, slots there. It should fit into there and there. Yeah. yeah, that lines up okay. Yeah, and the bottom of the steering column, you can just make out, whoops, you can just make out in that corner where it sticks out. So, Stuck on something. Oh, I think. Oh, don't know what it did there. So just gonna clean a little bit of paint off there. Right, here we go. little tabs just to hold it in place and then I'll go around it with the extra thin after. Oh that's a nice fit. Let's see what it looks up with the roof on. So that's got a lip around so it sticks out at the back and in at the front so Oh, yeah, that looks all right. So I'll just try and scrape a bit off the roof without knocking it all apart. Yeah, I'm happy enough with the panel gaps and everything on that. So hopefully the roof will just plop on now. It's coming up for dinner time, so I'm speeding things up. I'm hungry. Okay, that's the cab done. Ah, good stuff. I was just doing it when I was. When I looked at it before, where the red and the black meet, it was a nice fit. And just when I put it on, it didn't line up. But if you just jiggle it a little bit, you should feel a little click and it just drops into place. Uh, and I'm really hungry, but I'm also impatient. So, roof's on, cap's on. <clears throat> Already done them with guards. So, radiator. Ah, assembling numerical order starting with one. Radiator. Grill. Bonnet. Okay. Let's see if I can mess this up. Not too sure if it even needs a radiator because I don't think you can see it when it's in. But I shall do it. Got a little peg sticking out there and that drops down into that slot at the front. So that 
should be all right. Oops. That's all right. So let's clean a bit of the paint off there. Okay, it's a bit of a tight fit, but I'll just put an extra thing on the bottom of it rather than pull it out and glue it again. So, come on there, fix that, let me down. Last bit. This is going to all fit nicely together. come together now so I'm definitely gonna leave it alone now because my tummy is really rumbling so there's not much more to do now uh, mirrors to go on headlights to do I'm not doing the ball bar um, well, the headlight bodies are on I've just got a, a dab of silver and then put the, put the glass in and that's it and then there's the sacks of coal, which I've already given uh, one coat of paint. So I'm going to sort of lay them out as I want them to go in there, glue them all together, and then I can drop them in and glue them in one blob. So that hopefully will be later on today. Cool. Right, off, off for my dinner. So nearly done. Put the mirrors on. Um, that one went on a bit wonky, but... Looks right. Uh, headlights are a bit wonky as well. <laughs> Got the glasses in there. And then I've just gone around with a bit of lime wash and sort of just gone around the, the panel lines. Um, that's about it, really. All I've got to do now, I've just used some Evo stick sort of glue just to put all these sandbags together. Gotta leave that overnight for them to go off because it'd just be easier to mount them in one go rather than trying to do them individually. I've got a few more just to stick in at the end. Um, but I'll give them another coat of paint before I put them in and dirt them up a little bit. And then that'll be it. Well, there it is, finished at last. I know it's taken a while, and a few little hiccups along the way, but uh, I really like it. Something a little bit different, and uh, I really like the coal in there. It's quite cold. So thanks as always for the helpful tips and the comments you made. And uh, put the flash on so it lights up. There we go, it's a bit bad. Yeah, um, thanks for all your advice along the way. Much appreciated. Cool. All right, there it is. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.